Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. What if you wanted to put a bend in a piece of sheet metal and you didn't have access to a commercial bending brake? Well, I have a simple home tool that is so cheap and so great, so handy, that everybody can have one. It's called a bar folder. This video isn't sponsored. I will have links down in the description if you want to purchase any of these. It helps out the channel. I get a small kickback if you use one of my links to buy something. It doesn't raise the price of the products to you guys and it helps me out, helps out the channel. And with this bar folder, this pair of wide pliers or hand seamers, a left and right pair of sheet metal snips for cutting the metal, I can make a lot of different kinds of parts. And I'll show you. I made a few, a little box here, I made some angle. Here's a one by one angle. I made an inch and a half by inch and a half angle. Bent this, which is a, a little different process using the bar folder. And when you do bend up some sheet metal, it's gonna get nice and stiff for you too. You go from, from a very flexible piece of metal and you throw a couple bends in it and you've got yourself something a lot stiffer. So that could be another reason for you wanting to make something, just to make something stronger. I took a pile of scrap and I'm basically making more scrap. And just to show you guys how this thing works. Here's another one I put a bend in. I don't really have anything I need to make right now, but I just wanted to show you how this works. And I can show you a couple tricks that makes this bar folder work even better. I've got a nice piece of flat metal here. I'm going to throw a bend in it and I'm going to show you a trick that makes the bend come out better. But I just wanted to let you know kind of what this, um, this bar folder is all about here. And I've got a lot of sheet metal tools because I worked in sheet metal for almost 40 years. That was how I made a living till I retired. So I've got quite a collection of, of sheet metal tools. A lot of them I gave away. Uh, when I retired, I worked with a kid that was a really great kid and I wanted to give him some of my tools that had been around. Kind of a tradition amongst sheet metal workers to um, give a good guy an apprentice, some, some of your tools, and I did that. So I got rid of a lot, but I still have a lot left over. Oh, let me tell you a little bit about this bar folder here. The bar folder is a flat piece of metal, and it has a couple pockets. Hopefully you can see this. So on, on one side of the bar folder, the flat bar, is a one inch pocket. And then on the other side is a three eighths pocket. And the whole idea with this is that you stick the metal into the edge. Let me pick my most square edge. You're going to stick the metal into the bar folder, make sure it's fully seated in there, and then you're just going to put the metal on a firm surface and then you're going to bend it up. And you can make all kinds of stuff with, with this. And, and I'll show you right now a little trick. So when you've got a piece of metal you want to bend, Let's say I want to bend to one inch here. And, and these do come different. Guys, guys will make these in the shop. They'll make these to the dimensions they want. And they'll make they'll homemade them. This one, this one here is one I bought. And so you can make these. And I've seen that done in sheet metal shops for a specific purpose with specific dimensions on it. And so if I want to bend this piece of metal. I'm going to make sure that's fully seated in there so I get the nice straight bend I want. And, but what I'm going to do to make sure I got a little bit better bend so my ends don't get all rounded is I'm going to put a little relief notch in either side. A lot of guys probably don't know. If you do know about their bar folder, you may not know, have known about this little trick. So I'm just going to take a pair of snips. I've got these straight snips here little bulldogs we call these. These can cut through some thicker stuff. And I'm just going to put a little relief slice here, right, on either side of this. And that's going to allow my metal, I won't end up with a rounded corner in here. Now all I'm going to do, I, I found where I wanted to make my relief cuts by putting the bar folder on, now I'm put back on. And now, I want to get a 90 degrees here, so I'm holding my metal down, firmly holding the bar folder, pushing against the edge of the metal, and I'm just going to basically hold it down, hold it in tight, and, and firmly turn it up. 
and that's how I can make a 90 degree bend. So you could take and you can use your imagination and you can make a lot of, lot of different things with sheet metal. I just whipped this up just to show you. You can make four bends. You can make, um, this is kind of an odd shape I had. I put one bend that way, one bend this way. Uh, you might make a piece of flashing for your house. I've made brackets for my Jeeps when I wanted to put a winch disconnect underneath the hood. And I found a spot to put it and I made myself a custom bracket. Also made a custom license plate bracket after I installed a winch in and a bumper on my Jeep, my wife's Jeep Gladiator. All, all doing this with sheet metal. So this is 22 gauge sheet metal. So this is like gonna be the stiffest metal I'd wanna work with this bar folder with. Generally speaking, you're gonna be using these with 26 and 24 gauge metal. All the only scrap I've had is 22 gauge. So it's a little thick. So, so with 22 gauge to get a bend this long with a bar folder, it's pretty hard to get it to go all the way 90. And I'm gonna do this the same thing I did before, right? I got the bar folder all the way in there, put a little mark there, and then I'm gonna do my relief cut. Give it a little relief cut here. Now let's give it a shot here. On something that's real stiff like this, what I'm gonna do is I'm only gonna be able to get a little bit of a bend probably. A little bit of a crease. So even though I'm kind of struggling here, I'm still getting myself... Oh, okay, well that worked out better than I thought it was gonna. All right, so yeah. Pretty stiff piece of metal. I was still able to get a good bend. Now, if, if I don't like the angle I've got here, basically I've got a 90 here, I, I don't have to go all the way 90. I can also can also go less, right? I don't have to go 90. I might just need a little a little kick in the metal. If I went a little too far, I can take, take a little bit of that out with a bar folder too. And that worked out pretty good. I felt strong today, so I was able to, I, I was able to move the whole bar folder, but with this one here, I, I wasn't able to bend it as well yesterday, but what I did is I finished it up with this. I got a little crease, and I was able to take these, these hand seamers, we got different names, hand seamers, wide vice grips, sheet metal tongs, and these come in a lot of different, I, I happen to love these vice grips. I just think these are great. And if you didn't want to go and, and buy a, a whole bar folder, I mean, it's 20 bucks probably, probably 20 bucks. But if you didn't want to buy that, but you want to have a tool that you could use for a lot of different reasons, you can use these and you can bend a lot of metal with this too. In fact, I think I have a smaller piece. So if I just wanted to bend up a piece of metal, the best thing to do is to make yourself a mark on here. This is a scratcher for scratching the metal. I'm going to scratch a one inch mark across this piece of metal. Scratch a one inch scratch line here. That'll give me something to guide, guide these sheet metal tongs. So, and on this small one, I'm not gonna put the relief cuts on here, but I'm just gonna show you how these work. So I'm just gonna line that edge up there. And I'm gonna bend that. So that's it. I'm not, using like a two by four and a hammer to bend it. I'm not getting a bunch of dents on the metal. Getting a nice crisp bend. And this has been one of my favorite tools over the years. And I always had a bar folder with me. Generally always had a bar folder with me. Uh, if you go on a sheet metal job and you're going on a big commercial job, the guys are gonna tell you that they, they think this is a, is a residential tool. But when I would go on a commercial job and people found out I had the bar folder in my toolbox, they're gonna to come around and borrow it from you because they found out they had to make something, fabricate something on the job. They know how handy the bar folder is to do that. Anyways, that's kind of a quick little bit on how to bend some metal. Anyhow, it's kind of what I wanted to show you. That's about it for this video. I wanna thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one. And don't forget, on Muddy Ruts, the best is yet to come.